Hello, I am Sun Chen. I work as a Linux development engineer at Toradex Systems. Today I am going to talk about a multi camera setup using our Apalex line of modules. This is the setup which we have created for demonstrating the multi cameras. We are using the Apalex evaluation board. This is for our Apalex line of modules. We have the Apalex IMX6 connected here under the heat sink. This uses a IMX6 processor from NXP and it has a 1 GB RAM and a 4 GB AMC on module. These are the four analog cameras which we are using. We have a Sensor 8 channel mini PCI Express frame grabber card. This is connected over PCI Express to the Apollo IMX6. We have a MSATA on board which we are using for storage. This is the connector setup through which we are connecting the analog cameras. We have the monitor connected over DVI. After this, we are going to show how the setup is done using our Linux running on the Apalis IMX6. This is the serial debug console. We are connected using the serial debug port to the Apalis IMX6. The driver required for the sensory module to work has already been deployed. This is the GStreamer script which we will be using to launch the GStreamer pipeline. First, let's load the drivers which are required for the module to work. As you can see, it has detected the device and created various video nodes. We are now going to stop the LXD desktop environment from running, which comes with our default image as we only need the X server to run for the display and not the complete desktop and we finally run the GStreamer pipeline the GStreamer pipeline is basically gonna show the live preview as well as do the encoding and store it to the MSATA storage device So the pipeline is now running. We move on over to see the live preview. Continuing from our previous discussion, this is the live preview which is coming because of the GStreamer script which we ran earlier. We have the text overlay on each of the frames, camera 1, 2, 3 and 4. We also have a time overlay which is displaying the system time on each of the frames. And this is all running due to the GStreamer pipeline which is in the back end. Now such a multi-camera setup can be used in various security and surveillance applications like for example in a bus or anywhere where multiple cameras are required. That's about it for this video. Thank you for watching.